Hello everybody and welcome back to Subnautica. So in the last part, we um <clears throat> we got a lot accomplished in the um in my shorter recording times now, we got a lot done. Um such as curing ourselves, one huge objective, turning off the gun, another huge objective, and now we have our eyes set on our final goal to um finish off this incredible journey. Uh not only within the game, but within myself as well, along and uh, that is build a rocket and get the hell out of here. So, I can tell it's going to be like the ultimate quest of gathering resources. And it's going to take a good while. I I, I know this. I, I've Because it's literally, we have to build a platform. Then build the gantry. And I'm not sure if you build the rocket in one go. But I reckon it would be a huge list of ingredients. So... Oh, the night is setting to start off the episode. That's not a good sign. I don't I don't like starting off episodes at night, but uh, here we go. So, I'm going to try in this one part to build the entire rocket. I'm not sure how plausible or how possible it is, but that is going to be my goal for this uh, part. And don't worry, if I run into any leviathans or any... any interesting encounters or I find something interesting of course I'll keep it in but from getting the materials I am not gonna be keeping that in just if just the resource gathering I'm not gonna bother because you guys have seen it plenty of times because <clears throat> if you've noticed in the beginning of the playthrough I kept all the resource gathering in halfway through I was just speeding up those sections and now I'm not keeping them in at all because it's kind of like a progression of, you know, showing where I am as a player skill-wise in the game and, uh, you know, how well I know the game now. But anyway, so we have the gantry next. We need a plastic lingot, copper wire lubricant. We'll be right back. Ooh, okay, so already this is um, starting to get a bit more interesting in terms of where we need to go to get our resources. So we need to go and get lithium. Um, already on our second bit of building so it shouldn't be the lubricants easy the plastic linger isn't too difficult and in the blueprints what's uh, what was the other thing we needed copper wire so the lubricant copper wire I mean it's all fairly easy to get it's just the areas it's getting you to go into is the scary part now okay guys so we have our creep vine seed cluster uh, so we can make the lubricant now. We need enough titanium to make a titanium ingot. And we need to go and find two lithium. And one copper. Give me that copper. Oh, boom. Okay, so we have the copper. Copper wire accomplished. Let's see how much titanium we have. That's four, isn't it? So we've got eight. We need two more titanium. And then it's the lithium we need to go and find as well. Right, so I'm going to collect the rest of this metal salvage just in case we need it in the future to build the rest of the rocket. Um, which I'm sure we'll need it for. If only I had the scanner room still. That would be make it so much easier. But nonetheless, I th I'm sure we can manage without it. Because I kind of know where a lot of the resources are anyway. Like generally like lithium. We could, I was thinking about trying to find that purple cave. Again, to uh, in order to... Is it this one? Yeah, I was thinking about trying to find the purple cave to go down there. Because I know there's lithium in there. Is this it? Yes. Okay, so we found the purple cave. I know I said I wouldn't show any, like, resource gathering. But I'll show you, like, when I'm finding some stuff. You know, I'll just show you little bits here and there. So, I... I am sure there was lithium down here. God, that goes to show how, like, technologically advanced we have become in the time of this, um, of us getting stranded. We are one person on a planet, and we can build ourselves a rocket to get off the planet. That is mental. You know, I wasn't surprised when I built the submarine and, you know, the mech, but I'm surprised when I build a rocket. I don't know, but, um, that's, like, the survivability rate. I understand our survivability rate was so low, but... I find it super interesting that one human can build a whole platform, a gantry, and a full-on rocket to get off the planet. That is mental. Bing, bang, bong. There you go. That's all of our. That's all of it done for this part. 
So I am actually going to take the mech out for the rest of it, just in case we run into any deposits that we might need. Okay, so, yep, here we go, guys. The next step. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa! That just goes to show how big the freaking rocket's going to be. This is so impressive, guys. I was not expecting this. There we go. Holy crap. This is ridiculous. Okay, so the next part. The boosters. Nickel already? So we're going to make another plastial ingot. Two aerogel. We need gel sacks for that. Wiring kit's easy enough. Plastial ingot's easy enough. Aerogel is easy enough. It's the nickel. We have to go all the way down. This seriously is going to be like <laughs> the resource gathering of a lifetime. Okay. And that's just. So it's just the booster. So we are literally building it piece by piece. This is, this is going to be difficult because it's just going to take a long time. I can feel it. We need two lithium, we've got the plastilinga, and then we need the two aerogel. So we're going to have to go down below. We got an aerogel farm, so that's easy enough. And we got the nickel in our base. So, yeah, I think heading back to the base is the best course of action. Or is it? Or is it? <laughs> this, is what I'm, this is what I mean. Because um, I know we could probably get the resources between there and our base. And it's just getting past the sea dragons every single time. Fuck, this is so difficult. Um, right, what do we need for aerogel again? So we need ruby and gel sack. I think the best course of action is to head down. I wonder what happens with the warpers now. Because aren't they meant to hunt the infected? Like, is he hostile to me anymore? He just disappeared. Well, that isn't very, um... Warper-like. Hey, look, the enzyme. I wonder where the, um, the Sea Emperor babies go. Do they actually grow up? Because if they do, oh my god, that would be such a good detail. And just freaking awesome to see that, you know, a sea emperor roam the, uh, the place. As long as they're not hostile. <gasps> oh my god. Is she dead? No. That's so sad. Oh, I think it's a Connell Droopy. Oh, no. That's so sad. Thank you for your help. I would not be here without you. Oh, no, the eyes as well. It's so, everything's just so droopy. Jeez. God, I'm fucking tearing up again. Why? I haven't been like this the entire game. It, literally, this is the emotional toll this, this game has had on me. Or, do I go back to the base, collect as many resources as I can from my base, and take the Cyclops, and put it all in the Cyclops, and then take the Cyclops back up to the surface? That might, that, you know what, I'm set on that. That's going to be our next, that's going to be our goal then. We'll mine this. And uh, we'll head to the Cyclops then. And we'll start loading up the materials on, um, onto it. Aerogel, there you go. Okay, so now I believe 
Yes, okay, so we can make the Neptune boosters. It's just a case of getting there now. So I'm going to have a, another look <coughs> inside the Cyclops. It's been a while. <coughs> Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. We don't have enough lockers, do we? At all. Jesus. See, we have so many resources. I'm sure we'd just absolutely shoot to our goal if we had all this. And, you know, at our fingertips sort of thing. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it at our fingertips. Okay, so now I've got some titanium. We're going to build some lockers on the um, ship. And I think we're going to call it a part then. And then in the next part, I think in between parts, I'll kind of transfer a lot of the items onto the Cyclops. And then we'll start the part with me leaving the base um, on the Cyclops, which I think would be a uh, good plan. What the hell? I Did I seriously get that from two deposits? No, okay, I was going to say. So, guys, we have all these lockers now. I think it's just time to start loading it all up onto the uh, ship. I'll be right back. I know I said we do it in the next part, but I kind of just want to get all of that done out of the way first. Okay, guys, so our room here has been... And I didn't realize, I forgot how many materials I had in here, like how much of everything I had. So it's all completely empty, and I overdid it a bit, actually, with, um, with the lockers. I would have thought it would, you know... I thought I'd need absolute... I thought I'd need more lockers, if anything. But... It only went up to about here, and we're just transferring the last bits. So let's get our some of our nickel back. I didn't mean to say the band. That's actually hilarious. Um, right, there's our three nickel. Oh, um, we got we got our two aero gel somewhere as well. There's one. So just so we have it ready. So now, I think, really, I'm going to keep these lockers, because these ones are empty as well, and these ones, and those two, so what I'm going to do now, from now on, with the base, I am just going to go completely Cyclops independent. Um, I am not going to be doing any more of the uh, storage rooms in my bases sort of thing. I am literally going to be going completely solo on this, on everything. Um... Yeah. Ooh. Big change. Huge change. Um, I might actually dismantle a bunch of this and put it on the... The Cyclops. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to go completely, completely Cyclops based. Like, I know you guys really like the bases and stuff like this base in particular. I know you really like. But we do seriously, like need to be more, especially for this, building the rocket, we need to be more, like, versatile. So I think going completely mobile, putting all of our resource resources on there, we can go to whatever base we want and we have all of our resources. We don't have to keep transferring resources and stuff like that. We just have them with us at all times now, which I think is a much better system than, like... Don't get me wrong, having the two different bases, the, from the one in the beginning to this one now, having all those lockers in the storage room was necessary, at least personally for me. Um, it made it, this, a lot of the processes a lot easier for building stuff. So, yeah, I, I genuinely think this is a good step in the right direction, you know? And for the rest of the game... Shut up. Because now, after we... I'm assuming beat the game and we get off providing everything goes to plan and we get off, you know, uh, the planet with the rocket. Um, I plan to go back and do other things. So we'll be able to go around and do other things afterwards much easier. But anyway, enough of rambling from me. It's time to deconstruct all this. And we'll build it on the Cyclops. There it is. The Hang on. Wait, can we put it up here? Keep calm right in your face. <laughs> nah, let's not do that. Um, there you go. Perfect. And that's the beauty of being on the Cyclops. We, you know, it's... Completely self-sustainable. And there we go. 
is complete. I think we're ready. We're ready to take the next step in our journey and head back to the surface with the Cyclops completely. This is how it was before when we were transferring everything. Um, when we went down to this base, we kind of put everything on here and then took it back off and put it on that base. And now we're kind of doing the same thing, except now it's staying on here. Damn, how things, how things change. So with the batteries, the ions, are two ion batteries. What does it take to make ion batteries? Ion cube, gold, silver. I might start converting stuff into ion, but we'll look at that after. Um, right now, priority is building the rocket itself. <sighs> okay, guys. So that was a very, um, very successful part. We built more of the, the rocket. We've traveled a good bit. We transferred everything over. We got into some dangers. It, and we saw the the sea emperor, um, dying, which was really that was really sad. Um, but you know we're taking the next steps to building the rocket, and I think now maybe the next part we'll build the rocket because I truly now that we have all those resources in the back, I truly believe that. We have, you know, an excellent amount of stuff to to build it. So, I mean, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? So, if you like this video, like it as you would. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.